Hi guys, and welcome back to Crazy Bake. Today we're going to be doing a remake of the lemon meringue pie that we've done. Um, I know some of you said on the comments that when you cut into it, it was really runny. We had the same problem as well. So after, over the last couple of days, we've been experimenting and we have finally got one where it actually isn't runny. Um, we've done one the other day. It set really well. It set better in the fridge because um, we gave it to a family member and they said it set better in the fridge, but it wasn't runny when they cut into it, um, which is good. So yeah, I've got all the ingredients set up this time. I'll run through the ingredients, same, exactly the same as last time, just with a little bit of added sugar. Um, but yeah, Mum's here today. She is just currently over at the dining room table, just looking after babysitting my nephew. He's playing play doh at the minute, so she probably will be in and out of the video. But I just thought we'd crack on, and then get this video up and loaded for you. So yeah, I'm going to get you guys on the tripod, I'm going to wash my hands and we'll crack on. Also I do apologise if the camera goes blur blurry, as you guys know I broke my other camera so I'm using my underwater camera um, so the focus does go a little bit. So yeah, let's crack on. Right, here we go. So, I'm going to leave this is obviously a saucepan. Let's get some little lighting on here. Alright, so what we have here is 150ml of water, 3 tablespoons of um, corn, corn flour, we have the juice of 2 lemons, the recipe is exactly the same, the rind of 2 lemons. Here we have um, 100 grams of granulated sugar. And this is where it's different. We have um, 75, uh, no, sorry. Um, sorry, I have to write it all down. Uh, give me a minute. Oh, come on, phone. I have to write it all down. And it was... 150 grams of caster sugar that is what we add in extra because we found out it doesn't make it like really bitter or tarty makes it nice and sweet and then you've got your two egg yolks and then obviously you have um, the egg egg whites for obviously the top of your meringue and then you also have a hundred um, 150 grams of caster sugar to go with the egg whites. There's four egg whites in there. So yeah, that is the ingredients. And we will just crack straight on with it. <clears throat> so first thing first, I'm just going to get a spoon. And we're going to put into that is the water straight into the saucepan. You want a heavy bottom saucepan really, so just so it don't burn. Um, and your corn flour in there. Remember as well, this won't curdle. So you just want to make sure it's all mixed in. This don't want really any lumps in your corn flour. Just like milk. And we're going to add into that is our lemon juice. Straight in there. Just going to discard those over that side. And you're going to put in your rind as well, your lemon rind. Straight into there as well. Just give it a mix. And before we do any, any more, we're going to take you guys over to 
over to the hog and we're going to put this on a, a slow boil. That's what we're doing. Just going to put it on a medium heat and just, just keep stirring until it comes to the boil and it's thickened. I'm just going to change to a wooden spoon. Just so I don't scratch the bottom of the pan. Okay, this may take a little while, but so I say bring it to the boil and then when it's really nice and thick you can take it off and then add your sugar. <clears throat> but as you can see there it's now thickened up. It literally takes not that long at all. I'm just going to leave it on there a little bit longer. Constantly stirring it. Before I take it off the heat. And then add into your sugar. Like so. It's a lot more thicker now, a bit like lemon curd. So I'm just going to literally whack the heat off, and I'm going to add in granulated sugar first, and give it a mix like so, and then add into a glass of sugar. One was like, hopefully it works. It should work because we've experimented with this, so it should definitely work. If you want, just give it a little. So what I've done is just put it back on quickly, just to heat it through. As you see, it's starting to go more clearer. That is lovely. That is what you want. That consistency. And now, literally, just like I say, turn it off because you've got to cool it down now. Because it's got to be thick. Um, so. Yeah, it's thick. That's how it was. Um, You've got to cool it down now before you put your egg yolks in. And it will thicken up as it cools down. So I'm going to let that cool down and we'll bring you back when it is. Right, so now it's cooled down ever so slightly. I'm just going to wash my fingers. Show you it's cooled down. We're going to pop in our egg yolks. We're going to mix them in together now. Like so. Also, I'm using a, a sweet pastry case that is already done. Um, We'll still leave the recipe up there for if you want to make the pastry yourself. Um, I've also put the oven on for Gasmart 7 for about 20 minutes and then reduce it down to a Gasmart 4. Um, 
just the same way you would. And there you see it's still nice and thick and that's what you want. So I'm just going to let that cool for a minute before I pour it into the case. So while we do that we crack on with mixing the lemon, the meringue for it. Let's go back over the other side. So what you're going to do now is, is you've got your egg yolks, just while that cools down quickly. Uh, you've got your egg yolks, and you're going to put in your 150 grams of castor sugar, and mix it together until it forms soft peaks. This may take a little while, a good 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll just show you a little bit so I don't bore you. Right, so, as you can see, it's nearly getting there. Not quite, hold your hand up there, Bubba. I'm just going to mix it a little bit more just to get it so it is then peaked. Start them young. Right. Hand up there. Hand up there. Just to let anyone know, when he has it, my, my other hand is on his hand. Crap. Crap. No, that's no, not. age actually the same time we taught my two nieces to cook, get in the kitchen and do stuff. Look at that, holding the shake, get in there, a little bit longer and it's So there you go, that is what you're looking for, your soft peaks that actually stand up, that is done. So I'm just going to literally take this off, whack the access off, put that straight into the washing up bowl, just turn it off by the tower, come on that doggy, going to grab our top, the case sorry. And now, while you do that, this seat goes a lot more, lot more thicker. So we're redeeming ourselves from the last one. Because you guys, uh, we apologise that you guys, you know, spent that money to do the video and it came out sloppy, the same as us. But I did state on the description that to put it, leave it on the hob a lot longer. Um, so this is what we've done now. So I'm just going to literally. Pour that straight into your case. The oven is on a gas mark four. Mum is doing bubbles with the little with my niece, uh, nephew. Sorry, we had my nieces this morning. Where well, they've gone to school. So try and get it all in there if you can. I don't really want to waste anything. Now I'm just going to give this a little, pardon me, a little smear around. I'm just going to grab a tablespoon. Just kind of knife. Just so I can then put the meringue on top. <laughs> right, so, who's this guy on this stuff? Right, now I'm just going to switch. I know some people um, do prefer more meringue um, than the lemon. Yeah. That and then the meringue on top, eh? 
and, and the other thing we found that by leaving it out cool yeah. and then putting it into the fridge, the fridge. it does but that is the it better is better the following yeah but this is more better than, than the it. first time we've done it though isn't it yeah it's a lot more thicker um so yeah that's gonna then we're gonna put the meringue on top and then you literally you're just gonna cook that for about 10 minutes until the meringue is gold yeah it's gold that these oh, try and get that off there because there's a tea towel yeah. it's all right. just that no sorry i just put a bit on the tray and now for the meringue and you're just gonna literally Gonna dollop it all on here. I normally do it from the outside. Yeah. And then into the middle so that it don't squidge out. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. But I made more this time. Because <laughs> last time we were just doing the two yolks. Huh? It was um it was a bit tight. <laughs> Depends what size yeah, your eggs that's, are. That's quite a lot. <laughs> um, I'm not going to use that. We're probably just find something. Uh, oh, I'll scrape it on, Mum says. Okay, we're scraping on there. I mean, you haven't got a lick of old clay, because I've got a laugh. <laughs> yeah. You ain't got a lick it clean. Mum. Yeah, Baba. Mum. More. Baby's had enough. <laughs> Yeah, just get some little peaks on it. Like so. That's going to go in straight into the oven. Middle shelf. Um, gas mark free. I'll leave what it is in um, Celsius and fan oven and all that in the description below. So that's it. You're going to go in there for literally 10 minutes. And we'll be back in 10 minutes. Right, so guys, it's been out of the oven now. Um, it, sat, it sat on the side of the oven for about an hour. And we put it in the fridge for an hour. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what it's like now. It's out. I've cut it already. Just to show you. There it is. Um, let's just move it over here, just so that you can see it under a bit of extra light. So I've cut into it, you can see that there, it's actually, let me just watch the camera. Look at that, not runny or nothing, it's staying where it is. Like the last one, I say, we apologise for the last one, even when we cut into our one, after leaving it to set, it was runny. You can clearly see this one isn't. It's actually worked out a lot better if you leave it to cook a lot longer. So there you go. The other video has been deleted by the time you're watching this. This is the re the remake of it. Look at that. I've got some over here that I've just just I've just cut up. My meringue hat. Pardon me. Meringue has fallen off the top. But, look at that, that is a better, better, mm. really nice, not like, you don't get that really like, bitter tartiness from it, it's really nice and sweet, so there you go, we have finally cracked it. Look at that setting, not running or nothing. There. There you go. It's actually, I'm not a great lover of lemon meringue, but I must say, oh, get off. That is actually really nice. Mmm. So, we have finally cracked it. It's not runny this time, as you've seen. Um, 
it's holding up, and it clearly works, you let it cook, cool down completely. First off, cook it so, like I showed you on the video, um, a little longer on the hob, and then you cool it right down once it's all done, stick it in the fridge, and it works fine. Um, so yeah, also what I will show you quickly, is just because I've just, just actually rewrote the recipe up on the computer. Um, so here you go, I'm just going to show you this. I don't know if it's going to focus, it's probably not going to focus. As you can see it's got, here it says two egg yolks. Um, and here for the meringue, four egg whites. So you're going to use the two egg whites from them two egg yolks. And then you're going to have two extra egg yolk, egg whites, sorry. So you need four eggs, you want two yolks, and then four egg whites. And then you decide whatever you want to do with it, your spare two egg yolks. But yeah, so the recipe will be up. And like I say, the old video has now been deleted by the time you're watching this. Uh, I'm just going to get this one uploaded now. And yeah, happy days. It is finally a lot, lot better. No runniness, nothing. I'll put that back in the fridge now. Um, just because I'm not going to eat any more of it, really. My mum might try it, but she's not really a lover of lemon meringue. So half will probably go to a family member, and the other half will probably go to my next-door neighbour. So yeah, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the little bell notification on so you get notified whenever we upload a video. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye.